Hey, this is Honor of Serene for CreativeCal.net. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the fundamentals of color correcting digital video in Premiere Pro. Since the introduction of Premiere Pro in 2003, the color correction tools have gradually evolved and new filters have been added with every release. So if you don't see the color correction filters being used throughout this tutorial, please note that they may only be available in version 2.0 of the application. To color correct your footage, go to the color correction workspace by either using the keyboard shortcut Shift plus F12 or by going to Window, Workspace, Color Correction. Once in this workspace, you'll notice that our video has a yellow and green tint and our goal is to eliminate this tint as best as possible. Navigate to your effects panel and search for the fast color corrector effect in the color correction folder. Drag and drop this effect onto your video in the timeline. Once you have applied the effect, head over to the effects control window and let's start color correcting. The first task is to eliminate the tint. To eliminate the tint, twirl open the properties for the fast color corrector and locate the hue balance and angle property. Since our image has a yellowish tint, we want to push the center circle in the opposite direction, that is towards the blue areas. Once you have adjusted the image, turn off the effect eyeball and view the difference. Not bad for a few minutes worth of work. However, what if you have a completely different scenario with different image problems? Let's take a look at some of the properties of the wheel that we just adjusted. The first component is the direction of the center circle. You should attempt to push the wheel in the opposite direction. For example, if your image is green, then push the center circle towards the red areas of the circle. The distance of the circle from the center point also matters quite a bit. The farther you push the circle, the more tinted the image gets. For example, if I move my circle halfway between the outer edges of the hue wheel, a light red tint appears on the image. However, if I push that same wheel towards the edges of the circle, you'll notice a much darker red tint over the entire image. These are some of the most essential properties to keep in mind as you start color correcting. In the next few tutorials, we'll take a look at the advanced concepts of color correction. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, visit creativecow.net.